Hey guys, thanks for joining me for this video. I'm Boot, we're in New Jersey, and today we're going to love and hate stuff, so let's do it. So this week we all saw the Nintendo Switch, and the YouTubes have been blowing up with people who are excited about this. Um, the new release of the codenamed NX console we've heard about forever. Now that it's here and I watched the video that Nintendo posted, I was really excited at the thought of a console that's detachable from the main system and portable. And it has detachable controllers and looks like it uses an SD uh, format for games, which means not only will load times be faster, but no CDs to get scratched up. Now in the video they show people using the controllers to play games together or uh, even a two-on-two -two by linking two different systems together and this was awesome. They showed the new Zelda game, some older Wii U Mario games, even showing the new higher definition version of Skyrim Elder Scrolls being played. And while there were so many videos of people excited for this innovative console, I was even pretty stoked about it. But kind of skeptical about there being more than just the flagship Nintendo titles being made for the console. Then, after the uh, you know release commercial thing, the uh, Bethesda company that makes Skyrim said that they aren't even sure if they're going to port the game over. However, there wasn't anyone really who saw what my friend Ryan Ralph saw, and I'll go ahead and post the video here, uh, where he goes on to mention the um, the ways in which this system is a detrimental console to Nintendo. Between the hardware and design, the information he presents in his video could be a real deal breaker and a heartbreaker to the Nintendo fanboys, even though I'm sure they'll remain blind to the negative aspects of it. Uh, I'll leave some links in the description. Also this week, there was a remake for television of the Rocky Horror Picture Show, a movie a lot of us grew up with, and while I really loved the original movie, I can't say I'm in any way an expert on the film. So I turn to my resident expert and fellow YouTuber, Dom from Dahmer's Cool Stuff, and he's essentially a Rocky expert, not only a connoisseur of the film, but a man who starred in a cast of reenactors that goes from New Jersey uh, to North Carolina, even the RKO shadow cast of 2016 in Rhode Island, and he has been like doing it for 20 years at least. And he has a video that explains his gripes and his enjoyment of this reimagining of the film. Of course, it was adapted for television, so it wasn't as racy as the original film. However, I have my disagreements with his views on some of the characters and how they were portrayed. But that's my opinion. Um, in all, I think I really liked the idea of a reimagining more than I liked the actual thing. I thought Riff Raff wasn't creepy enough, and the music was changed up and out of timing, and Frankenfurter, I don't think he was done justice in this depictation. Uh, once I heard it was a reimagination, uh, reimagining, I kind of went into a Ghostbusters state of mind. It's like knowing what I do of the original, it's kind of a spit in the face. But if you forget everything you know about it, you may just enjoy it. I didn't enjoy it as much as I thought I would, but maybe one day they'll nail it, and hopefully Tim Curry will be there to see it, and myself as well. That's all I got this week. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing, and I will see you guys next week. Information he, that he presents, uh... Also this week, there was a remake for uh, television of the Rocky Horror Picture... F uh... Mm-hmm. Let's try that again. But kind of skeptical... Uh, skeptical... But if you forget everything you know, and, and you know, you may... Ugh.